So just like on, on this one, we're going to draw a border. And once you're done with your border, then we will take our bright color, like pink or magenta or red, anything that like happy color, you take that and you're going to start bordering. And for Nokshi Katha, the first thing, first thing you need to know that in Nokshi Katha, we do a stitch type of pattern. <coughs> the stitch type of pattern is just like that. A little dash and a break. A little dash and a break. A little dash and a break. So look at this. A little dash and a break. A little dash and a break. So we're going to apply this all over these borders that we made. So watch me doing it. I'm going to do a little dash and a break. Dash, break, dash, break, dash, break. And I'm going to do all over of my border. And once you're done with one side, you turn the paper nicely so that you can draw the border very evenly on all four sides. Nice. Okay, once you're done with the border, raise your hand so I can see how many people are done. Good job. Wow, a lot of people are done already. Okay. Now we started with magenta. So now we're going to take another bright color, which is like orange for me. But you can take yellow. You can take another bright color like purple or sky and take that color. And I'm going to do another border just around it. So double border, right? So I'm going to start from the side and do just to follow the first border that you have made. And it's going to be the same pattern, right? It's going to be dash and break, dash and break, dash and break. Make sure your breaks are even, right? Not too big, not too small, just the right. So this is how it's going to look like once you're done with double border. One's magenta or pink, and another one is just an orange or yellow. So once you're done, raise your hand. So I know you guys are ready, ready for the next round. So now is the fun part because we're going to do the big fish and the peacock inside. So for the big fish, I have a fish on the top and a bird or a peacock on the bottom. So let's do the fish part because fish is the easiest one. So for the fish one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do start from the mouth of the fish, right? 
I'm going to start from the top, slowly going down, and then make a tail, up tail, and then the down tail. And then go down, and this fish is a big fish. It has a big tummy. So make it a big fat tummy, and then come to the same point as the fish. So let me show it to you again. So start from the mouth, go all the way up for a big tummy, like a big wave, and then go down of the wave, and then go up for the tail, upper tail, and then come to the middle point of the tail, down tail, and then come all the way down for a big tummy, and then soup up to the mouth. Okay? So once you're done, now let's draw a small circle for the eyes. A small circle for the eyes. Perfect. And now, since it has a face and it needs a small neck, right? So we will give it a neck by just by the head. There's a double line. This is the neck of the fish. Just two double lines. And then you go towards the tail side and we're gonna do a tail double line and then another tail double line. So see how I did? I start from the mouth, going all the way up. I was like a big fat wave for a big tummy. And then the tail, and then upper tail, down or down tail, going for a big wave down, and then all the way up to the mouth. Then put a circle for the eye, double line for the neck, double line for the tail, and another double line for the tail. Okay, so once we've done this, are we ready for the next next part? Nod your head. Okay, got it, got it. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. so now we're going to do the fin. So upper fin, we're going to start from here. We're going to go all the way up. And then down, and then down. So lower fin, we go like this and this. Okay, so now we're done up fin and down fin. Okay, now fish is swimming inside of the water, right? So we need to create some water effect because it's swimming. So we have four water waves around it. So let's do the black, let's take the black pen and we do the water just like that. So it's a circle, but you're not going to end the circle. So you're gonna start from a circle. As soon as you hit the halfway of the circle, you're gonna go all the way up and then you all the way down to, to the beginning of the circle. So you start from the beginning of the circle. You don't want to go back to the circle point. You go up all the way and then coming back to the beginning of the circle. Then same thing, we're going to do it in here. We're going to start from here all the way down. And then this. Okay. Oops. 
I forgot the little tail. Little tail. At the very end. Okay. Now we're going to color this. Let's color it. It's going to be a fun one. So everything we do in the Nokshikatha, it's all going to be dots or dash. Inside of the fish, we're going to do dots of different color. Outside of the fish, we're going to do all the dashes. So watch me doing it. So first, I'm going to start with my purple color. And I'm going to start from the neck of the fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do dot, 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 half circle, dot, 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 half circle, dot, 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 half circle, dot, 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 half circle. And then I'm going to do another one, double line, half circle. Just a dot, not the line. Remember, we're doing nokshikatha, right? Just a dot, not the line. So now I'm going to take a magenta color and then I'm going to do the same thing that I've done in here, half circle. Dot, 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 half circle. Dot, 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 half circle. Half circle, half circle, half circle. Another layer. So each color, we're going to do two half circles. Now, we're going to take something green. And green color, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fill the whole body of the fish by doing it. Remember, we're doing dots. We're doing dots. We're doing dots. Okay. Now, we have two, two fish uh, lines of purple, two fish lines of pink, and two fish lines of green. We're going to repeat the same thing. Purple again, and then do the same half circle. And as soon as you reach the tail, you stop filling it. <gasps> the body is done. Look at that. Okay. So now I'm going to do, take my brightest color. You can take yellow or you can take orange. And brightest color, I'm gonna take my orange brightest color because I wanna see the face. And the face of the animals are most bright, bright area, right? So I'm gonna take the brightest color and I'm going to do the dash, 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 dash. So remember I taught you that on the borderline? So some one dash and a break, one dash and a break. Don't fill out the eyes, don't fill out the eyes, just around the eyes, dash, dash, and break, break. Dash, break, dash, break, dash, break, dash, break, dash, break. And then same things we're going to do on the fin. Dash, break, dash, break, dash, break, dash, break. Do the fin, and since fin has two sides, right? One is the left side, another is the right side. So on the left side, we're going to do some green. See, from the back, we're going to do the green, and the front side, we're going to do the orange. So same orange, we're going to put on the tail. Dash. Or everything is inside would be dash. Okay. Now we're done and then let's do the tail. So the tail part, we're going to do zigzag. We're going to do like this. Zigzag, zigzag. Okay. So we're going to take the green 
and we're going to do zigzag, 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 zigzag. Okay, now we're done almost with our fish. Now I'm going to take some of my blue color, or you can take some pen. I'm going to take my blue color and do my water because these are the water right these are the swimming waves so i'm going to take my blue color and i'm going to do zigzag zig cloud cloud small cloud inside of them and i'm going to come back to it i'm going to do small cloud You can take a blue pen and you can do it also. So cloud will be another nokshikatha. It's gonna be like this. Just like you draw a cloud, right? It's going to be this pattern inside of your waves. So you can do it with blue color pencil also. You don't need a pen. So now I'm going to do the neck and the tail double line and it's going to be bright. I'm going to take my magenta or pink and I'm going to do this. So my fish is done. Look at this. So many nokshikata patterns we have done in here. See, the first Nokshikata pattern did is that dot, dot, dot in all body. And when we did it, the dot, we did a half circle, just like the fish body, right? And then we did the dash and break and dash and break in our fins. And then we did the wave, the blue waves in the water splashes all around it, right? And the neck and the tail, double line gets its own hatching. So now we're going to do the peacock. Okay, so for the peacock, we're going to do the same. We're going to follow the same as this one. So how are we going to do this? We're going to first take our black pen, our black sign pen, and we're going to first start with our round head. So we're going to do the big round head and then another round for its eye. Okay. Now it has a little beak, right? And then the peacock has a crown. So we're going to draw the crown just like that. And then I'm going to start with my body. Body will soup up. And then we go like this. All the way up. And then inside of the body, the head needs its neck, right? So on the neckline, we're going to do the same double line just like we did on the fish. So double lining here. And then, what does the bird has? Bird has wings. And just like fish has two fins. So we're gonna draw a wings in here. A big wings, right? And then, all the feathers on the sides. And just like peacock has a lot of um,
feathers, we should drew it, we should draw it all around it, right? And then peacock goes to where? In the jungle, right? In the forest. So we should draw a little bit of plant. So I draw a flower and some leaves. So it feels like peacock is it in its own home. And then I'm going to draw its leg. So for leg, all you have to do is draw a small square and then another square and another square. And when you're drawing the square, you can just curve the sides of the square. Okay, how many you are done? Put your hands up. Awesome, most of you are done. So let's try, let's draw this peacock now. Okay, so for peacocks on the wings, we're going to use the purple and do the dash wings inside. And the wings all over, it's going to have the purple wings. Beautiful purple wings. And then we're going to take the orange. And from orange, we're going to do inside of the neck. Right? And also we're going to do the same thing on the face, on the head. But not the eye, leave the eye, leave the eye without dashed and everything around the eye, put an orange dash or dots. So now once you're done, we're going to do the same thing in here, right? How, what we have done on the fish, we're going to use the dots and half circle dots and half circle and once you're halfway you change your color to whatever you like maybe like green or brown and then do the same thing in here okay now I'm going, we're going to do the body and for the body I'm going to do the green and the magenta. So I'm going to start not like this or not like this. I'm going to start an angle. So I'm going to start from here, dash, 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 break, dash, 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 break. Three lines, green, and three lines, three lines, magenta. Dash, 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 dash. Dash, 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 dash. Now green again. Three lines, remember, not inside of the wings. Leave the wings out because you have already drawn that. Three lines green and three lines magenta.
Keep doing it until you reach at the end. Nice. Okay, I'll wait for you guys when you're done with your body. Whoa, look at that. I see somebody has done a really good job. Good job, guys. Okay, let's do, let's take the orange again and we will do the fin. On the fin, we're going to do some dash in the middle. Sorry, not the fin. These are the feathers. And just do some dots on the feathers. And you can do the leg with the same pattern with different colors. You can use blue, you can use orange, you can use purple, red. Almost there. Now for the leaves, we usually do leaves like with green, right? So any kind of green you take, you do the inside. And then just to give some color, use a different color for the leaves. And for flower, I want to flower a red flower. And I'm going to brighten it up with some orange inside. And usually the bird's beak has red colors, right? The crown. Ooh, ooh, we're almost there. Nice. Who should do it, Sylvia? Take the coup, Halakche. To make a shesh car or pori, Arikbar Amadeke Bolidebe. Agdo, sure. Shuru take a step guru, Arikbar to Bolidio. Sure, we're, we're actually not done yet. We, okay. we need to do some finishing. So this is the fun part. And Nokshikata looks really, really all together when you have small dots around your body like that. So I'm going to take my orange color and I'm going to dot all around the body just like that. Very close to it. So it will look very, very beautiful and perfect. So don't forget to do that, guys. And then sometimes I will change, switch the color. And I'm going to use the other color just to brighten it up on the other direction. So make the little dots all over it. Very close to your black line. And sometimes you can use some bubbles, right? And once you're done with your dots, it's ready. So I'll wait for two or five, five, two, two, three minutes, and then I'll, I'll go over all the step-by-step -step process again. I'm watching some of them. They're <laughs> coming really beautiful, guys. I love them. You're doing a really good job. Atoja, I know that you're using a lot of colors. Thanks for that. Good job, Ma.
Oh, wow, this is beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, wow, look at you guys. Okay, once we're all done, we will take a screenshot and we are also going to collect all of your beautiful work. We'll put it all together. Okay, so let's go over one step by step again before we start making a bird that can swing with an oxycata, right? We're gonna make a 3D bird. So moving from moving to that, um, what we have done that we have first started with a paper, white paper, right? And from the paper, we fold it into halves. And from there, we first made a border. On the border, we used a brightest color that we have in our house. And we did dash break, dash break, dash break all over it. And just to accentuate it more, um, pronounce it like more higher, we took another color, another bright color, and we did the similar all around it. So two bright colors, dash, break, dash, break, all over the border. Then we did the fish part first because that's the easier one. We started from the mouth of the fish went to a big wave, made the tail up, made the tail down, came back to the wave down, and met at the very beginning of our mouth. Then we did the double line of the fish neck, double line for the tail, and another double line for the tail. Then we did the fin on the front, on the top and the fin on the bottom and make sure to double line the fin because you have fins on both sides right so see i have a little fin popping out from the back so then next the coloring part we use the dotted color two lines of each color on the body two lines of purple dots two lines of magenta dots two lines of green dots, and then we repeated the same pattern again. Two lines, two lines. And then we use the bright colors on the fins and everywhere. And then for the waves, because the fish is swimming in the water, for the waves we did is that we took a blue color and we did the waves inside of these water splashes. And to finish it all, we use a dots of bright colors all around its body. And your first nokshikata is done. Same thing we have done in this bird again, right? Head, body, feather, wings, sorry, wings, then feathers, and the leg. And then the peacock has its own crown. Neck gets the brightest color, head gets the brightest color, feather gets the brightest color, and the body gets purple and blue, but all in the pattern of Nokshikata, which is dot, dash, dot. And then you got your whole card done. Cool. So, Sylvia, I'm going to give you a little bit of 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 a little bit so for Paki, we need a circle. So you can use any kind of circle thing. I'm going to use my container. You can use your scotch tape circle. You can use your protractor. Where's my protractor? Oh, you can use your also protractor in here. But take a big, take a big, um, Yes, find anything. Good job, Marzana. You you found a good good job, Farhana. Okay, so let's take this and I'm going to draw my I'm going to take on my paper. It doesn't need to be yellow. You can use it yellow or you can use it a white paper. You can take this. If you take a white paper, 
your bird's gonna look like white and it will look really nice okay so on the on this we're going to do we're gonna take the one circle and we're gonna take another circle so two circles side by side and once we're done with it we're gonna take a scissor and we're gonna cut the circle be a fun birdie you can put it on your desk when you're studying tomorrow and you can teach your birdie all the studying that you're going to learn on your Monday class you can also teach your birdie and birdie can sit in front of you on your desk she can be your study buddy right and you can put all over her body the nokshikaha pattern that you've learned today. So now I have two, two circles. So once I have two circles, I'm going to put them together. They're stacked together. Make sure they're, they're stacked nicely. And I'm going to fold them, not halfway, only till it's very close to the halfway. So I'm going to show you. See, not all the halfway, just a little bit close to the halfway I folded. And I folded two of them together, two of them. So they're all inside, right? Okay. So now I'm going to use Now I'm going to use my scissor on the smaller one, on the smaller part, not the bigger part, on the smaller part, I'm going to do some wings. I'm going to cut the wings just like that. Just the halfway. So see, my wings are cut on the halfway. Now, two of them comes apart, right? Two of them comes apart and then put it all together. So this is your body. This is your body. So I'm going to show again. So I took two, two circle, right? Two circle together. And I did is that I put them on one side, right? I put them on one side, not all the way down, halfway, right? So I want to have a little bit. And then I cut them, cut the wings. And then I took apart two of these. One goes upside down and then goes behind of it and becomes two sides. So there's two wings on both sides and the body. Okay, I'm going to keep it in here so you can see what I've done. Now I'm going to, at the same time, I'm going to make a smaller. My head. And you can make a small head. But it is just, I just eyeballed it. And I made a small head. I'm going to cut, you need only one circle for that. So one small circle and then this head. And then I'm going to make a beak, right? I need a beak of this bird. So I'm going to cut a little triangular. So this is my beak and this is my, my head. And then I'm going to have a little bit of tail, right? So tail, I'm going to do a little rectangular. 
any rectangular was fine. And what you do is that in the rectangular, you're going to just do halfway cut. Just like that. Just like that. So four components, two circle. I'm going to go over again. Two circles. Fold it in, not in half, just a little bit up. Cut the wings, take one part, switch it, place it on the other side, and then you get wings on both sides. Then a small circle head, and then a little fin, and then this beak. So now I'm going to start scotch. I'm going to use scotch tape because it's more fun to use the scotch tape. Glue is going to be hard. So I'm going to take a scotch tape. I'm going to put it in the body and then ah, it's stuck inside. So there's my body and then I'm going to put another scotch tape. I'm going to roll it so it goes inside of this as it holds my my head right and then this for beak i'm going to use a little bit of glue i'm going to put it in here and then for this one i'm going to put the wings and then stuck it on an angle in here. So once we're done with all these, now it's the fun part. In the whole body, I'm going to start all my nokshikatha. So I'm going to open the wings and I'm going to do this. Three lines of every color. So once you're done with your body, then the wing part, right? On the wing, I want to put fun colors. I'm going to go zigzag, zigzag, because the wing has a feather. I'm gonna take the purple, I'm gonna do the zigzag, and then I'm going to take the orange, and I'm going to do this. A little bit of purple. All around it. And then just on the head. And then the fun part. The eye. And the beak is always red color, right? Then you can fold it. You can color it on both sides. I'm just coloring on one side so you can see it. And it can sit on your on your desk with you tomorrow, just like this. So you can you can fold it a little bit on both sides so it can sit just like that. That's your bird. So let me, let me tell you what are the things we did. We did two circles, right? We stacked the circles together. We cut the fin. We turned the other circle so that the body gets both sides wing. One small circle for the head, one only, and the little beak, and then the rectangular for the tail. 
and we pasted the body with scotch tape, glued the head, glued the beak, and glued the tail. And voila, your study buddy for tomorrow. Woohoo! Sometimes, um, so this, this one I've done, I give blue wings, so you can do that. And this one I've done in white, in white paper. So you see in the white paper, I've colored and stitched everything as, and I use the same Nokshikatha style. Kushundaruchi, <laughs> Our um, Sylvia, I'm the next weekend day with her Mother's Day. Mother's Day, or you can check the poor with Aina. So, uh, guys, I want you to tell me what do you want to make next weekend for your mother so we can craft or we can make something or we can draw something for next weekend. So, send me requests or tell your mom, and I will get the message. I'm a Kajan Bolichi robot. Wow. <laughs> 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 